High five, buddy. Good game. <laughs> uh, I love this bear. It's my British bear. Yep, it's got my son's laugh, I think. I don't even know where it is. Maybe his foot. Somewhere. Somewhere around here. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Leafs win. 5-2 against the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, Zach Aston Reese gets two goals. He gets the first goal, the tip. He gets uh, the fourth goal. The uh, the Lafferty 2-on-1 NHL style. Zach Aston Reese comes off the bench. He drives in at Lafferty. Beautiful pass as Carolina sends four guys one way. Nietzsche skates over the puck. Reese gets a second. Uh, Mitch Marner scored today. He got the second goal. He he went around. I think it was Nietzsche that he went around, actually. Snipe low blocker. Um, Austin Matthews um, took one off the knee where John Tavares did his pull, drag, and shoot. And it hit off of Pesci, I think, and then off Matthews' knee and in. Uh, that's when it was 3-1. Uh, and then Morgan Riley scores again. That's back-to-back -back games. He's thinking more offensively. And it's working. Uh, Keith is putting him in, in, in good positions to excel. Um, and he scores on a two-on-one. He wanted to pass it. He did, but the pass was taken away, so he just roofed it. Uh, Carolina's goals. Um, first one, Samsonov needs to have. You need to have that one back. We can't give up those goals. Uh, the second one, defensive breakdown. It was just movement by Carolina they do this a lot offensively defensemen are all the way down they're just going all the way around oh that's my son oh trying to keep that in they just keep going all around gets to Nietzsche I think it hits off of Willie it does and goes to him he scores Samsonov's looking through a crowd oh crap it's over here can't get there that was the second goal do they score again no um so it was 3-1 after the first then uh, three two, I believe, and then Sebastian Aho gets robbed by the six foot three Samsonov. Mike Johnson need to make sure if he was six foot two, he wouldn't have saved that. But six foot three, and he pushed his pad out to make that save. I'm talking with my hands, but you can't see it in the camera. Um, so that made it. Uh, that was that was brilliant. Um, obviously, Leafs going the other way. They made it four two, and then the third period they made it five two. Lots of penalties. Achari left the game, so they were eleven and seven. Then they were down to ten men. Because Pooh Yarby, full on John Bradshaw Layfield, you know Bradshaw, the accolades, uh, WWE, WWF, whatever, full on tries to get out of his way because he's trying to straddle the line and close lines the hell out of him. No penalty. Achari's gone for the game um, because he's injured. Uh, concussion, who knows what else. And then the worst thing is, like, Pooh Yarby didn't mean to. He waited there for Achari. He felt bad. You could tell he was apologizing. Like, he didn't mean to, but that's a penalty. You go to the box. Okay, you don't call it. But then Yarncroke going the other way, he's driving the net, he tries to slow up. And I think it's Shea just full on, like, just pushes him into his goalie. Goaltender interference. I tweeted out, I'm like, Keith, uh, he's probably going to get fined based on his post game. TSN, after watching the game, it said, like, Keith coming up. <laughs> so, you know, he's just going to give it. Uh, Mike Johnson, I love how he just talks, just says how it is. Um, I'm sure he gets a call in from the NHL all the time. Like, don't talk about the refereeing. Stop picking on them. And Mike Johnson just like, I don't care. I say what I want. And I really appreciate that about him. I'm sure he's going to get a calling as well. I expect Keith to get fined. Maybe maybe a couple grand here or there just because he speaks his mind because the officiating is trash both ways in every game I've seen. All 32 NHL teams, all 32 NHL coaches, all 32 NHL GMs, every player in the league should just be pissed off because the refereeing is atrocious in the NHL and I know it's going to cost a team a series in the playoffs and it's just going to blow up. Um, speaking of playoffs, you got to go with Samsonov, right? He let in that one, but he was solid um, defensively. Uh, I thought everyone played really well. The best here in though was Luke. Um, it was in the third period when he just walloped Sebastian Ajo. And I was like, oh, yeah, normally, like, a Leaf might just nudge him and he gets by or they slow him a bit. He just goes, I am taking you out. And he did, and it was amazing. And I loved it. Welcome back, Luke. Uh, we got the St. Paddy's Day hat. The Leafs wore the St. Paddy's Day stuff. Austin Matthews had a St. Paddy's Day skates. He scores one off the knee. He was flying tonight, though. My God, this is the Austin Matthews we've been waiting for. Um, he's finding it. He's getting it. He has the itch right in time for the playoffs. He's ready to go. That one move where he, he put it through his legs, a little like shimmy shake here. And it just, I think it might've hit the goalie in the face. I don't know. Oh, um, 
It was great. God, I love it. Uh, they play Ottawa tomorrow, so we'll watch that game tomorrow, and we'll, we'll have a, a quick recap of that. But overall, I am happy about this game. The Leafs are on the penalty kill for a lot. Um, they killed one. It was a massive kill, and then uh, Bunting got one later on, like literally just after he got a penalty. Was it a penalty? Sure, probably, but... At the same time, Brody got held up just before that, and then that's when you're like, I don't understand what are we what are we calling here, officials? Like, what's allowed and what's not? Um, maybe we'll see tomorrow night in Ottawa. Probably not. Uh, is it going to be a high scoring game? Maybe. So I'm guessing Matt Murray's in net. Uh, would I like to see Joseph fall? Yes. If Charlie's out. Do I want to see Steve's in? Yes. Um, so that's what I would hope. At least get Steve's in a game there if Charlie's out. Um, throw Murray in, see what he can do. But Leafs win. 5-2 against Carolina, who is an amazing team. It sucks they don't have patches, but we knew they weren't going to have him. Oh, buddy. Sun's sick. 2. Not even Sveshnikov is going to be trying for them. They, re they really got to gotta figure out who's going to fit in there. It looks like Pugliarvi is getting more chances. Call Kanyemi. But who knows? Who knows for Carolina? But damn, they're a good team. They're a good team. But the Leafs beat them. Anyway, comment down below your thoughts on the game. I'll see you tomorrow night after the Suns game. Go Leafs go. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Happy St. Patty's Day.